Welcome to another episode of BS for Build, proudly supported by Just Selling T-Shirts. In this episode, it's a tribute to the guys that inspired all of this stuff, Mighty Car Mods. And as such, we're going to be painting the Plan B in Mighty Car Mods Squid Juice. Kinda. First thing that we're going to do on this paint project is start painting our trim piece here on the back because this needs to be uh, black color. We're doing black on the trim uh, and the RB kit parts that go on the bottom and we're doing the uh, MCM squid juice on the rest of the body. So uh, I like this rear diffuser. I don't, uh, I like it better than the Rocket Bunny uh, diffuser. So I'm keeping this on here. Well, it's not really a diffuser, but anyways, I'm keeping this on here. And uh, so I need to make paint this black. But since I'm painting the rest of the bumper, this thing has to be painted first, let it dry. That way I can then tape off the rest of the bumper to make that the uh, squid juice color. So first thing I got to do is tape off the whole back of the car so we don't get overspray on it and the bumper and protect the floor. And then uh, I'll spray this back diffuser with our black trim color. We got two good coats of black on the back. Um, with all this paint, this is single stage paint, so you don't do base coat, clear coat. It's just single stage, so you just spray the, the one time. Um, while that's, so we have to let that dry nice and good because um, to tape the bumper off, we have to put tape over that material so we don't want the paint to come back off on the tape. So while that dries, I'm gonna go get some lunch and try and find a veggie kebab. Well, there are no tofu kebabs to be found, but I got what we call in America a hot dog. It's the next closest thing I could find. It's not exactly vegetarian. Definitely not to be confused with the Korean version of hot dog. I have no idea why we named it that. But it's gonna have to do. All right, well the back of the car is looking really good. It's still drying though, so um, in the meantime what we gotta do is kinda Dexter kill room style lay plastic through this whole room. So we're gonna do some walls, uh, maybe one in the back and one right here. Uh, set up our station for spraying our uh, trim pieces, our side skirts, and our front lip. Um, and then I'm going to jack up the front of the car as well and throw some jack stands under there just to get a little bit more uh, lift on it so I can have some more working room. Alright guys, let's talk color as far as the Mighty Car Mods Squid Juice goes. So Squid Juice is made up of three different things from the house color uh, paint line. You have a Galaxy Gray, Jet Black, and this isn't it, but this is similar, and you have a, it's a Sterling Silver Pearl Essence, so it's a pearl effect. You have three parts of the Galaxy Gray, one part of the Jet Black, and one part of the sterling silver pearlescence and you get mighty car mods squid juice so that would have been fine and dandy except we're changing it up a little bit you notice in the intro intro i said kind of painting it i want my car to be flat and to be flat i need to do a couple things one thing is, is well, let's let's start from scratch. Squid ink is a two-stage paint. Squid juice, excuse me, is a two-stage paint. You spray your base coat and you spray your top coat of clear over it. Um, I can get away with doing this as a one-stage, single-stage paint um, by adding adding a flattener into the paint, which will make it a matte finish. Um, one of the reasons I'm doing this is it's a little bit easier to spray a consistent matte finish if you add the flattener. So. Getting back to what squid juice would have been. So squid juice would be three, one, one, mix them all together, spray that as your base, and then you spray your top coat and it'll look beautiful and it's awesome. So I, I mix these up together, three, one, one. Oh, 
The reason we have metal, metallic, rather than pearl, and that's why I went off on talking about the flat paint, is I talked to somebody and they said the pearl will not show up very well in a flat paint. So I said, what do you do? And they said, you need to use bigger flakes to refract the light better. So we have this metallic, and now it's a fine metallic, so it's really close to the um, pearl, but it's actually metal rather than a pearl effect. Now here's where the issue came in. With our galaxy gray color that you're supposed to have three parts of, you need just the base carrier base coat, which is a gray colored paint. I accidentally got the galaxy gray that has metal in it. And you can see, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, when you look at this metal, it actually has a lot of oranges in it. Well, actually it's more like browns or golds. It has a gold flake in here. So there's, that's black black. And when you look in here, now you can kind of see. There's gold. That hosed my entire plan. Anything that you paint with that gold in it comes out with that gold in it. Everything looks basically Jewish racing gold that you put in that. So this is out. Galaxy gray, bye bye. We can make gray by mixing black and silver. I'm 100% sure it works. So in spirit, we're Mighty Carmod Squid Juice. In actuality, we're a very modified BS for Build version of Squid Juice, but we're going flat anyways. So, since we're going flat, the cars are not going to look identical no matter what we do. I'm just going to try and get it as close as I can. So here's what I have. I have a test panel set up over here. That's just some stuff I was spraying yesterday. Don't worry about that. That's primer with a silver primer like I'm going to have on my car. We're going to mix up some test over here. I'll let you know the final ratio that I end up going with of a jet black and a metallic. And then we're going to mix that up and spray this panel over here. And uh, then I'll let you guys know how it goes and we can see how it looks. And if I get that dark, rich, but still a little bit metallic -y color that I'm looking for, it's very close to a gunmetal, um, then we know we, uh, we hit our mark. All right, guys, I'm proud to show you the closest thing I can get to Mighty Carmont Squid Juice. Um, this, the only color, there is no color in this, this is just shades of gray, but the metal is going to bounce any color of light, so what you're going to see is some orange coming off of my shop light here, and you're seeing some blues come off of the camera light. Um, it's very hard for the camera to focus on this stuff, so I'm very sorry. Uh, I'll try and get a little bit closer. So we got some metal in there, some metallics, and overall I think one thing that it does is it really shows the contour well, so when I back up... You can really see kind of the, the angle, the body line is very accentuated and the, the curve and stuff. That's all really great. So that is one of the key points that I was looking for with this um, kind of flattened out paint look. So. I'm stoked. Next steps, I need to paint the window louvers. They need a fresh coat. And all of this trim work over here needs to be painted. We did the same thing with our front um, little grill inserts, this time with stainless steel, but we're going to paint over it anyways. Um, and then we have those trim pieces, and then we have the body kit pieces. Those get all flat black. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. Then we got to jump over to the car and uh, throw a primer couple coats of primer on here and um, and then we'll go for paint. So I also did want to walk you guys around and kind of show you uh, what I did for paint prep so I will be painting all of this stuff this time. No skipping out. The uh, rocker panel came out looking good. The top panel came out good. I'm excited to see it when it's all primered and done. You know there's like some small noticeable things on the rocker panel but really for the amount of money that I saved and it being my first time really trying to do one of those I'm very happy. So we had to tape off the windows. Sorry I'm tripping around the shop. Tape, uh, we uh, taped off the vents and protected our beautiful wheels and tires. See the amount of orange that comes off the lights in here that's why our body panel was looking a little orange. Hey look, it's Kim. Hi Kim. Uh, 
coming back around. The inside of that door is all taped off the same as the other one. So I feel like I'm good. I feel like I didn't forget anything. Oh, over there is the uh, mirror covers. So I feel like I'm good. I feel like I didn't forget anything. Uh, I'll be honest. I'm kind of I'm kind of spacing it out a little bit. Uh, I've been in the shop about 24 hours in the last two days at this point. It's 11 o'clock at night. Um, so I've been here for like 14 hours today and now I'm finally getting to start paint. So a lot of work has been going into the prep of this. Um, it's all well, well worth it and I'm very excited to be here doing it. But uh, I'm just like really crossing my fingers that I don't forget something very important and screw this up. So that's the game plan right now is don't screw up. I'm a fight till the day that I die. Swear to God that I put that on my life and I'ma try my best to love forever to enlighten. I'm a spaz, baby, I'm a knight. And I'm a glad take off your flight. Yeah. If you wanna stun me, nigga, keep on trying. If I leave, I'm not leaving inside. You won't see me cry. You gon' see the fire in my eyes. If I go, The car is all sealed up with a sealer primer. It's a light gray sealer primer. Um, if you wanted to follow the Mighty Car Mods model a little bit closer, they used a black primer. It's worth pointing out. Um, I couldn't get this in black though for some reason. I just couldn't find it. So, um, now it's time to mix up our wannabe Mighty Car Mod squid juice, which I'm basically using six parts of my black to one part of my silver metallic. Um, and then once we mix that up, we can start spraying. Uh, the only problems we're really having right now is uh, that uh, there's a lot of moisture in the air and uh, it's pulling the moisture out of the air, the compressor is condensing it, and some of it is coming through the line. No matter how many air filters or whatever I try, I just can't do it. But I'm going to do my best and um, I have high hopes. So far it's been really good. So I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I can't wait to see some color going. Well, some not color, but some shades go onto this car. Fist up till I stop breathing. Fist up till I stop wheezing. Haters don't forever hate me for no fucking reason. I'm speeding, I'ma keep trying. I'm going, I'ma keep riding. Even though life tries to hurt me every time. If I leave, I'm not leaving in silence. You won't see me crying. You gon' see the fire in my eyes. If I go, I'ma start a riot I'm fighting for my life, yeah. I'ma give y'all all of me tonight If I leave, I'm not leaving in silence You won't see me cry You gon' see the fire in my eyes If I go, I'ma start a riot I'm fighting for my life, yeah. I'ma give y'all all of me tonight If I leave Well, the car is painted. I am stoked. I'm very happy. It's 4.10 in the morning, but I'm still gonna have a beer. Before we wrap, I just wanna say thank you to Mighty Car Mods for doing what you guys do. It was about a year ago, roughly, that uh, I had some planned vacation time from work and I was supposed to go to Europe and I didn't even know why I was going to Europe. It was just like something people do. They take a vacation and they travel to Europe. I started binge watching Mighty Car Mods and I had my Mustang project in the backyard that I was fooling around with. I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. And I watched so much Mighty Car Mods and I was just like, you know what? I want to do something similar. 
I bought like a twin turbo kit and a bunch of other random stuff and I got to work on my car. I got the BRZ after that. And then, you know, I like watched even more Mighty Car Mods and I kicked it up a notch and I talked to Jeff and he said, Jeff, like, screw Europe. I don't want to go to Europe. Let's take a road trip across America and we'll buy two beat up cars and we'll film it and we'll go for it. And that is how BS Rebuild started and it was all inspired by Mighty Car Mods doing all the awesome shit that they do. So thank you to those guys. I've learned a ton over the last year. I've had a great time. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have pulled the trigger on the decision if it wasn't for you guys' channel. So that was awesome. The car turned out great. This color of paint is insane. It refracts light so crazily. Like over under those lights, it's gunmetal. Under these lights, it's like this yellowy color. So I can't wait to see it out in nature. We'll get it outside shortly. In the next episode, we have two days to fix up this, well, to put this car back together and get the windows installed and get it on its way to California so I can meet you guys for a supercar Sunday in Woodland Hills. Google it if you don't know where it is. And I'll see you guys then. Peace. Oh, wait. Unpeace. I forgot about my outro stuff. That's because it's late. Um, we still got a few shirts. You can find them at bsforbuild.com. If you're expecting your shirt to ship out on Monday, it's Monday, and I'm going to sleep, so they'll ship out on Tuesday. Um, we still have a few of these Plan B shirts. Get them while you can. We're at facebook.com slash bsforbuild, bsforbuild on Instagram, and obviously bsforbuild.com. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Haters go forever, hate me for no fucking reason.